Huber's Cards and More, Cardinals Fan 1990. To you so far, let's see if anybody else makes it first in the chat. I go by the timestamp. Let's see, we got two so far. Anybody else going to chime in at the same time at 10.15? Going once. Going twice. Looks like we'll have two new entries. Two new entries into our June drawing. All right. So Cardinals fan 1990 and Hubers. All right, let me get you guys into I got my team bag. All right, Super Dare Huber. Hopefully you enjoyed what I sent you there in your team bag like four days ago. <laughs> Coolness. All right, so Huber's cards and more. Going to get you on my wheel of names along with Cardinals Fan 1990. All right. All right, got Huber's on here. Let me put Cardinals Fan 1990 on here. All right, I got both you guys on to our June drawing as entrance into the contest for the month of June. Our wheel of names is growing. Using a new setup here, but just bear with me. I don't want to knock it off the stand. You can see my wheel of names spinning in the background. If you pay close enough to attention there, you will probably see uh, everything listed there. Okay. Go ahead and save that so we don't lose any of the new data in there. Get back into the stream here. Let me put my camera back down, or my camera, my cell phone, back down in position here. Readjust this. Anytime I move it, I have to readjust my my new stand here. Oops. There we go. There we go. Hit the thumbs up button now or else. <laughs> All right there, Huber. <laughs> That's cute though. Appreciate that. All right. So you guys let me know how things go with uh, my new stand I got here. The new device I have holding my cell phone in place. Hopefully it works out. It gives me more freedom of movement here. It's uh the actual stand is off to the right here. It's off to the right here. So it gives me all my area open here to do stuff when I'm working with the cards and looking at the cards without my my hands bumping into uh anything in front of me. So I think that's going to help me out a little bit more. Uh, I seen it at a store I went to, but went and looked on Amazon and found one for a really, really, really good price. So could not resist buying this and trying it out. And so far I like it, but we'll see how it works on the streams. So we are going to be getting into our content in about 11 minutes here. Uh, critter. Crit, uh, let's see. Criterium Racer. Uh, must be a gamer or something. Crit Criterium Racer. Looking good. Looks good. Thanks, dear Huber. Uh, hey, at Criterium Racer. That's what I'm going to think that might say. Hi, Criterium Racer, says Cardinals Fan 1990. Yeah, go ahead and check out when you do get a chance. Uh, Criterium Racer's channel. Check them out visit their content see how things work out there all right so i'm going to hopefully this works out for me i think it might i might readjust it so i can no i think we're pretty close to about center there and i kind of can see what area i have to work with i mean i can get all the way over here to about over here so I might adjust it a little bit more so I can get a little bit more this way. But um, 
Matter of fact, let me... No. I don't want to make a mistake here, but let me just scooch it just a hair or two. The other way here. I'll kind of know about where I am with the centering of my my name down here so I know what area I, I can work in. Trent, Trent, how you doing there? Thanks for popping into the stream here. We've got six people watching so far. And so for today, as you can see in the title, I do have Sandy Alomar Jr. and Sr. I'm going to do a dual biography today. And then, of course, next next Tuesday, I think what I'm going to do is Roberto Alomar. Roberto Alomar is uh, Sandy Alomar's brother. And his dad, of course, Sandy Alomar Sr., did play baseball, but is mainly known for his managerial skills. Um, but we'll go over both their short biographies this week, and next week we will do uh, Roberto Alomar, Sandy Alomar Jr.'s brother. Um, he's, he's inducted into the Hall of Fame, and we'll do his biography next week. Just in case you are wondering... Somebody had suggested I do Sandy Alomar Jr. And so I kind of added to that mix and added Senior and Roberto. But we'll do Junior and Senior today and Roberto Alomar, the Hall of Famer, next week for his biography. Uh, I sent your package. Thank you there, Trent. I'll be looking for that coming in the mail. Appreciate you doing that. When I get it, I'll open up on the channel on a family mail call. Again, whenever I do have a family mail call package, I will open it live on the channel. This one here is from Ethan's Elvis Covers and More before he went on vacation. He sent me one last package he thought I might enjoy. Actually, I kind of bought a few more things for him. He He's always looking for things for me and stuff, and then he'll send me a... Uh, a text message and send me some pictures and see if I'm interested and uh, you'll see one of the items I got in here I could not resist um, picking that one up so I'm gonna share you a couple items that'll go into my personal collection here so other than that I am continually working on my red white and blue uh, 2020 series one summer edition It'll be, again, uh, 51, uh, 51 pa mystery packs for my July 4th sale. Let me get this on standby so you guys can... And Again, if I am taking uh, pre-signups. I am taking pre-signups for um, that there. Chuck Dupree, uh, I happy last night put Jason Dominguez card, Papa Jay's cards. Chuck, oh, there, there is Chuck Dupree is here. I saw that Cardinals fans. Congrats! Can you send me one of your stickers? Who you talk? Oh, you talking to me, Huber? Oh, yeah. Um, I could probably do that in your next month's team bag for the month of June. I can do that. Okay, there, Huber. Um, I do get requests about for that sometimes but yeah I can do that uh, just remind me before I send out your team bag just a little reminder when it gets closer to the first of the month that way I can remember to set one aside to put in your team bag when I send your new one in the March month of July no problem there Huber all right yeah I can do that on occasions I, I can send an extra sticker I don't want to run out of supply but I pretty sure I got an order of 250 of them when uh, somebody sent those to me for the channel but yeah so we're gonna get into again uh, pretty much just the uh, the biographies today I'll go through the family mail call package but if anybody does want you can purchase a uh, mystery pack these are the preview mystery packs I still have left. Number one, two, four, six, and eight are the ones that are still open uh, for purchase. Again, it's $29.95 for a mystery bag. And uh, just for these last five here, I reduced my shipping just to see if I can uh, send these out. If you do buy one, it's no problem. But if you buy more than one, it's only a $4 flat rate shipping 
I'll pay any extra shipping that goes over the four dollars but uh, all you have to do uh, why does this why does this man only have 1080 some subscribers uh, don't worry about that Hubert it does not bother me that much but eventually in time I will uh, YouTube will start sending people my way um, I do get some people that are directed to me sometimes so uh, I'm not really a big numbers guy there Huber um, I just enjoy doing the content that I do on my channel and I really enjoy doing it uh, Donald is going to pass jabs <laughs> I don't know about that much for sure there Trent uh, but if, if I ever caught up the jabs I'd, I'd I'd have to say he's my competition, but I can't. I I can in no way, uh, in my current state, um, tr even try to keep up with Jab's family. I mean, if you saw the gold bags that he just opened up yesterday, I saw. I I watched uh, that video this morning, uh, after I got up and did my morning devotion, and then uh, usually I'll watch somebody's uh, channel. Yeah, Jab's has what like sixty nine thousand. Yeah, he does. He'll be he'll be hitting seventy thousand. I remember when I was watching him. I think he was last year. He was about thirty thousand subscribers. But when you do get to a certain level, YouTube just continually keeps sending people to your channels because they know you're doing good. Uh, please, can you send me one of your stickers too? Um, <laughs> we <we'll, laughs> just send me an email. Um. Trent, or actually, uh, throw me a reminder in there after I open up your package that's on the way. Um, matter of fact, when you do send a package to me, I will put you in my address database, that's for sure. And uh, if I would have been thinking about it ahead of time, I could have sent out a, a, uh, a mailing to all the people that I've interacted with um, since the year I've been doing my YouTube channel. Um, I do have probably probably well over a hundred people that I've interacted either received some something in the mail from them or sent something in the mail to them so I do have quite a few addresses in my I should have sent out a little uh, advertisement for my red white and blue packs but maybe I'll do that for my series two if as long as my series one is uh, is well received but we'll see how things go with our polls will pass him polls will pass him do you think do you think pills <laughs> polls will pass him do you think Phil's do you think Phil's polls will pass him I don't know what's Phil's polls is that another is that another YouTube channel I don't know if I've ever heard of Phil's polls is he another big YouTuber? I've, I've never even... I don't know who Phil's Pulls is. Or is, am I reading that wrong? Phil's Pulls will pass Jab's subscriber account. Oh, okay. I'll have to try and check out... F oh, Phil... Phil Hughes from the Yankees has a channel. Okay, okay. Well, that is interesting. So I got about one minute here. And then we'll get into our content at hand with our uh, geography lesson for today then I'll move things out of the way if there's nobody that wants to buy any of these mystery packs and then we will uh, open up Ethan Elvis covers and more and then I will talk about and show you who has reserved spots for my uh, 2020 red white and blue mystery pack series one summer edition coming up just in case you are keeping track and count uh, it is 18 days until the 4th of July sale. All right. So we do have 1030 here now. I'm going to get into Sandy Alomar's. Uh, Sandy Alomar Jr.'s uh, G, uh, biography. And then after that, we will get into Sandy Alomar Sr.'s biography for our baseball players biography today. And then we'll get into the family mail call afterwards unless somebody tells me they bought one of the mystery packs here and would like me to open it on the channel. Okay, so our first 
ball player for today with the two mini biographies here is Sandy Alomar Jr. Okay. So his full name is Santos, commonly known as Sandy Alomar Velasquez Jr. All right. And he is a Puerto Rican former professional baseball player coach and manager. He played in Major League Baseball as a catcher between 1988 and 2007, most notably as a member of the Cleveland Indians, where he was a six-time All-Star player and won two American League pennants. Alomar was inducted into the Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame in 2009. He also played for the San Diego Padres, the Chicago White Sox, the Colorado Rockies, the Texas Rangers, the Los Angeles Dodgers, and the New York Mets. He is the son of former Major League player Sandy Alomar Sr. and the brother of Hall of Fame second baseman Roberto Alomar. All right, and then we have, as far as his Major League career, uh, pulled a King Griffey Mike Trout one of one the other day. That is cool. That's cool to have a, a nice one-of-one one, um, Ken Griffey Jr. Mike Trout combination card. That must have been an awesome pull there, Trent. Coolness for sure. Uh, and he opens expensive stuff. Yeah, well, when, when you have that many subscribers, trust me, you're getting a, a little bit of a nice little check from uh, YouTube on a normal regular basis and uh when you have little channels like mine I'm I'm not considered a big channel in, by any stretch of the imagination but uh, uh I got monetized back in January and still have yet to get my first check from YouTube so it's no big deal it's no big rush I know when the timing is right I know YouTube will gladly deposit some money into my bank account and until that time it doesn't matter I'm just going to steep Keep doing the content and what I do and share the history of Major League Baseball and baseball in general. So going on to Sandy Alomar Jr.'s Major League career. Alomar was a highly regarded <clears throat> catcher in the San Diego organization after being named Baseball America Minor League Player of the Year in both 1988 and 1989. But he was blocked behind Ben Benito Santiago at the major league level. After two short call-ups with the Padres, he finally got his chance at an everyday job after being traded to Cleveland after the 1989 season, along with Carlos Baerga and Chris James, in exchange for power hitter Joe Carter. Once in Cleveland, he established his reputation as a skilled defensive player by becoming the first rookie catcher to start an All-Star game and winning both Rookie of the Year honors and a Gold Glove Award. He became the third catcher in Major League history to win a Gold Glove Award in his rookie season, joining Johnny Bench and Carlton Fisk. All right. Alomar was selected as an All-Star in 1991 and 1992. However, his 1991 season was largely lost due to injuries, and he finished the year with zero home runs and only seven RBIs in 199 at-bats. Over the next few years, Alomar suffered several injuries and failed to realize his potential. He came back strong in the first half of 1996 to make his fourth All-Star team, but then faded in the second half. In 1997, he finally came together for Alomar. He batted 2-324, was the MVP of the All-Star game in his home ballpark, Jacobs Field, hitting a game-deciding two-run home run off Sean Estes to the left-field bleachers in the bottom of the seventh inning of a 3-1 American League win. He was the first player to hit an All-Star game home run in his home stadium since Hank Aaron back in 1972. Put together a 30-game hitting streak, one short of Nap LaJoy's Indians record and four short of his former teammate Benito Santiago's record for catchers, and helped lead Cleveland to their straight 
third straight postseason appearance. In the division series against the New York Yankees, Alomar hit 316 with two home runs, including a game tying shot off Mariano Rivera in the eighth inning of Game 4. Though he was less effective against the Baltimore Orioles in the ALCS, he still provided a game-winning hit in the ninth inning of Game 4. The Indians lost the World Series to the Florida Marlins, but not on account of Alomar, who hit 367 with two home runs. Although Alomar was selected to hit his to his sixth All-Star team in 1998, he turned in a mediocre season overall and then had injury-prone problems again in 1999. He left the Indians as a free agent after the 2000 season and played in a limited role with the Chicago White Sox, the Colorado Rockies, the Texas Rangers, um, Los Angeles Dodgers, and the New York Mets. On August 1st, 2009, the Indians inducted Alomar into the organization's Hall of Fame. All right, let me get a sip of water real quicker. Pop in the chat. Both on card autos. That even makes it more special for that 101. And he made 110 million with Yankees twins. Huh. Dearman 2019, how you doing there, buddy? Thanks for popping in here, Bradley. Appreciate you being here. All right, so the coaching career. On February 15, 2008, Almar was named the catching instructor for the New York Mets organization. He spent the 2008-2009 seasons in that role. Almar was hired in November 2009 as the first base coach on manager Manny Acta's staff of the Cleveland Indians. During the 2010 offseason, Alomar was rumored to be one of four finalists, along with Brian Butterfield, DeMarlo Hale, and John Farrell, for the Toronto Blue Jays' managerial job. During the end of the 2011 season, Alomar was rumored to be on the short list of candidates for the vacant Chicago Cubs and Boston Red Sox managerial positions. On September 28, 2011, Alomar was promoted by the Indians to the position of bench coach for the 2012 season. On September 27, 2012, the Indians promoted him to interim manager after firing Acta. He finished his interim reign with a record of three wins and three losses on October 6, 2012, and the Indians announced that the club had hired Tony Francona to take over as manager. On October 31, 2012, the Cleveland Indians announced that Alomar would be back as the bench coach for the 2013 season under Francona. Alomar was replaced by Brad Mills as the bench coach, and he is now their first base coach. All right. So as far as his managerial uh, record as a manager, he did it only for the Cleveland Indians in 2012 with three wins and three losses with a 500 percentage there. Okay. So as far as his batting average, he had a overall career batting average of 273 with 112 home runs, 588 uh, runs batted in. He played as a player for San Di- the San Diego Padres in 1988 and 89. Then he played for Cleveland Indians 1990 to 2000, the Chicago White Sox from 2001-2002, Colorado Rockies from in 2002, the Chicago White Sox 2003 and 4 the Texas Rangers in 2005, the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2006, the Chicago White Sox in 2006 also, and his playing career ended with the New York Mets in 2007 as a manager. Again, it was only those six games in 2012 as a coach for the New York Mets in 2008-9, and then with the Cleveland Indians from 2010 until present day, of course, probably as of last year. All right. He played in six All-Star games from 1990 to 1992. Took a few years off, and then he was in the All-Star games from 1996 through 1998. 
He had American League Rookie of the Year in 1990, a Gold Glove Award in 1990, and he is inducted into the Cleveland Indians Hall of Fame. So there you have it. Super short print car brakes, SSB. How you doing there, Jonathan? Thanks for popping into the stream here. So let's move on to part two of our biography today. And the part two is for Sandy Alomar Sr. So we just did Junior. This is his dad, Sandy Alomar Sr. All right, Cardinals fan 1990 King. Uh, please, can you send me one of your stickers too? Okay, da, da, da. so let me see here. Um, yeah, I can send people stickers. Uh, I can just, that's e s something easily done there. I can just put it into a, uh, into an envelope, mail it off to you. It just cost me a postage stamp to do that. Um, but uh, do me a favor and send me an email to donaldblomdahl at gmail.com. Um, I'm pretty sure I've got uh, Cardinals fan 1990. I believe I've got your address. But just to be safe, make sure you send it to me in an email. Um, I, th I know I will have Trent's address. He said he sent me a package. I know Huber, I've got your address. So you don't have to worry about that. But just send me an email basically saying you'd like a sticker. And I'll, I'll tag, tag one and uh, make sure I get it sent in the next package that I might be sending your way, okay? So let me get into this next short biography for Sandy Alomar Sr. So again, for those that are just popping in and stuff, if you do want me to open up one of these mystery packs during the video or sometime today, um, we can do that. Um, as far as this coming Saturday, just giving you a heads up, I probably will be doing a live stream, but it'll probably be closer to about the noon time frame um, at our church this coming Saturday at 9 a.m. We're having a uh, father-son breakfast um, in honor of Father's Day this coming Sunday. So um, I will be at our father-son breakfast. I don't have my son here. He's in Florida, but I'm going to go and participate in the breakfast at our church. And then uh, I'm planning on being back just before noon. So I'll probably have my live stream on Saturday to where if anybody wants, we can do this on Saturday, one, two, four, six, or eight, or whatever might be left between now and Saturday as far as opening up these mystery packs. But uh, they are available for sale anytime between now and the 4th of July. If uh, we do get closer and stuff, I might just dismantle these ones and add them into the 2020, uh, 2020 Red, White, and Blue series as we get into that. And uh, But that's where we stand for that for right now. So let me do Sandy Alomar Sr. for his uh, brief biography here. Okay, so Sandy Alomar Sr. Santos, commonly known as Sandy, just like his son, Alomar Conde Senor, okay, is a former Major League Baseball second baseman who played for the Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves in 1964 through 1966, the New York Mets in 1967, the Chicago White Sox in 67 through 69, the California Angels from 1969 to 1974, The New York Yankees in 1974 to 1976 and the Texas Rangers in 1977 to 78. Alomar was a switch hitter and threw right-handed. He is the father of former Major League catcher and current Cleveland Indians first base coach Sandy Alomar Jr. and Hall of Fame second baseman Roberto Alomar. All right, as far as his career, All right, uh, let me do a refresh here. Sorry to hear that, Cardinals fan. Okay, so as far as his career at a glance here, we've got through his career, Alomar was a valuable defensive player. His range and defensive positions were excellent, but he was 
prone to poor throws after making fantastic stops. Alomar was able to play all infield and outfield positions. He led the league second baseman in infield percentage in 1975, and Alomar's offense was below average with a 2.45 career batting average, 13 home runs, and 282 RBIs, and 1,481 games played. He was, however, a great bunter and gathered a significant number of bunt singles in his career. All right. So Alomar enjoyed his best season in 1970 with career highs in batting average, 260 home runs with four runs scored with 30 or 82 hits with 179 and play and games played at 162 and received an all-star berth. Alomar was a was smart and aggressive base a smart and aggressive base runner compiling 227 stolen bases, including a career high of 39 in 1971. He was a durable player. Alomar was the Angels' everyday second baseman for five years. He twice played a full 162-game season and played 648 consecutive games between two 1969 and 1973. Alomar had only one postseason at bat in his career with the Yankees in the 1976 American League Championship Series. After retiring, Alomar became a manager both in his homeland and minor leagues and coached in the majors for the Chicago Cubs, Colorado Rockies, and the San Diego Padres. While in San Diego, Alomar coached his two sons, Sandy Jr. and Roberto. After the 2004 season, Alomar was hired by the Mets as a bench coach and was moved to first base coach after the 2005 season. In 2007, he was moved to third base coach. On June 17, 2008, he was once again made bench coach of the Mets by former bench coach and recently promoted manager Jerry Manuel following the 2009 season. Alomar was let go by the Mets and replaced by Dave Jaws. All right, so his uh, major league debut was September 15, 1964 with the Milwaukee Brewers and his last MLB appearance was September 30th, 1978 for the Texas Rangers. He had a batting average of 245, 13 home runs, and 282 runs batted in. Again, he, as far as the years he played baseball, he played with the Milwaukee and Atlanta Braves in 1964 to 1966, the New York Mets in 1967, um, the Chicago White Sox in 1967 to 69, the California Angels from 1969 to 74, the New York Yankees from 1974 through 1976, and the Texas Rangers from 1977 to 1978. And then he was a coach for the San Diego Padres 1986 to 90, the Chicago Cubs 2000 to 2002, the Colorado Rockies from 2003 to 2004 and the New York Mets from 2005 to 2009 and his career highlights and awards he played in one all-star game back in 1970 so there we have it our second Hall of Famer or Hall of Famer our second player biography for today Sandy Alomar Sr. if I would have known it was going to be this short we probably could have tossed in Roberto Alomar, but we'll do him next week just to be safe. Okay, so other than that, that is our two uh, baseball player biographies for today, Sandy Alomar Jr. and Sr. So this all started with uh, a couple months back. Somebody had mentioned they'd like me to do Sandy Alomar Jr., but I kind of expanded and added to that list and again, if you ever do want me to highlight or do somebody's biography on the channel, just uh, go to my community tab and you'll see the post where it says, please tell me a baseball team. Of course, I'm going to do all the major league baseball teams, 
but sometimes you want, might want a uh, a minor league team or some other type of uh it could be even a little league or professional baseball uh, any type of baseball team if you want me to do a biography or a history on anything on that line please do me a favor and just add that into uh, my community tab and you'll see the post for that type of uh, item so let me pop in the chat here happy father's day to my thank you there cardinals fan mountain gorillas family friends and cards how you doing there mountain mg nice to see y'all hello all and then uh, Cardinals fans saying hello to you also. All right. Let me do a refresh here. And we will clear out the mystery bags for the time being here. Again, if you do want me to open up a mystery bag for you, just go ahead and send me a PayPal payment to kjvrealbaptist at aol.com. Include in that payment $29.95 plus $4 flat shipping. Okay, the contents in the preview mystery bags that I have here, you will get one graded card, one autograph card, one rookie card, one relic or patch or medallion card, uh, one SSP, SP, or serialized card, uh, two Hall of Fame player cards, uh, five cards from the 2020s through 2000s, uh, five cards from the 1980s to 99s, and five cards from the 1950s to 1979s. So that is uh, pretty much what you get there. If you equate that out, it is roughly about a dollar thirty something per card. So all in all, I think that's a pretty good deal there. Again, you may have more than the two Hall of Famers that are guaranteed. There will be some Hall of Fame rookie cards. Um, but that is pretty much an ideal of what you get in my mystery bags and it'll be similar in concept to when I do my uh, uh, my 2020 red white and blue mystery pack series one summer edition that will be up for sale in uh, on July 4th so real quick before we do go into that um, I am taking reservations for a spot. You do not have to pay for the res reservation spot. Of course, on the day of the sale, I'd like for you to pay for the for these. But And then we will have them there. I'll have all the mystery bags, 1 through 51 numbered. So you can choose which ones you might want. But just this just gives you kind of like a preview here of um, the reservations I do have. So there are five uh, spots reserved right now okay uh, you can see Chuck has number three blue uh, Rob Robert Posada has number five white Chuck Dupree has number uh, 13 red and then uh, Robert Tone has uh, number 25 red and then Chuck Dupree has number 43 white reserved so those are the five that are reserved right now it does not cost anything to reserve a spot but it, if if it is not paid for on the day of the sale on the 4th of July um, that spot will become open for somebody else to then uh, bid on or not bid on to purchase <laughs> All right, so anytime between now and the 4th of July, you can reserve one of your spots here. Just send me an email telling me, or just you could even mention it in the chat if you do want to uh, do that this way. Okay, so that is pretty much the list of the reservation sheet there. I will keep that on the side here and can write you in and update my list on my spreadsheet if you so desire so um let's see cardinals fan is saying your patreon um yeah i do have a patreon page it's not directly tied in here um i believe i can't remember if i posted some information into my patreon about the red white and blue i think i might have i'd have to go go back and check for sure but yeah so let me just go ahead and set this stuff off to the side here real quick. Move these bags out of the way and put a couple stands up here. Okay. 
I'll just move these. So if somebody did purchase one of these, I could pull it out and we could open it after we do the family mail call. In case you are interested in that, just let me know. And we can take care of that matter of business also. But I'm going to, after I set these aside real quick, let me uh, put that up there, get a few stands up, move Ethan's package right here for now. We're going to open that up in just a second here as I get after I get these stands ready. Uh, oops, sorry about that. I probably bounced a little. At least it does. It doesn't bounce forever, at least when I do hit it. Um, and I do list stuff up on my eBay store. So whenever something doesn't sell in my sales, I will list things up on eBay also, just in case you're wondering. All right, so let me uh, move this out of the way. Let me do this real quick. So I see where Cardinals fan said your Patreon. Don't know exactly what he meant by that one. All right. But without further ado, we'll get into our part two of our uh, stream here. And again, uh, in case I'm, I'm sure most people in here know Ethan, um, I had your Patreon, fifty dollars. Oh yeah, no problem. I saw that. That's that's right. Hold on a second. Let me just check something real quick here. Um, that's right, Ryan. Yeah. So I noticed you, yeah, I, I, had, I had got that notification that you bumped up to the $50. Um, so I will be uh, sending my, as soon as I receive your payment on July 1st, um, through Patreon, uh, your, your, um, your Patreon package will go out because um, you, you have not been charged. And the way the Patreon works in the channel is once you join sometime during the month, You'll become active the first of the next month. Okay, so I know it says you you signed up initially on June 4th, 2020. So that means July 1st is when your first payment will come out. Now, if you do want me to send an early one, if you want to send me a payment, a payment to PayPal um, for $50, I'd be glad to, to get together for you, for you a Patreon package. Um, for the month of June, it's just your first payment through Patreon won't process and pay out until July 1st. So that's what, um, that's what I'm kind of saying there. If you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. So, um, all right. So let me, um, I'm going to add another note onto my Patreon section here. All right. I'm going to put a note on here. What your channel name is too. All right there, Ryan. Um, Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's see. All right, I just wanted to update that in my Patreon back office so I can have that more familiar. So right now you and Kevin are my two top Patreons in my channel, appreciate that. And uh, oh, by the way, also um, when I do do my sales, the uh, Patreon members do not have to pay the shipping cost, okay? For the monthly sale, okay? <laughs> Any other purchases on the channel is you would have to pay for shipping because that would be extra packages. But if you would want, uh, 
if you would want a June Patreon package, I don't mind getting one together and sending that out. If you send a payment to my PayPal account, uh, the KJV Real Baptist at AOL.com. Okay, um, Ryan, I'd appreciate that, but um, it's not necessary. Your first Patreon package will go out in the month of July. And a matter of fact, it will actually go out with the 2020 Series 1. Because usually after the payment processes through, I actually get my payments from Patreon usually about the 4th or the 5th of the month when they process. I mean, sometimes they've gone as far as the 15th, but I won't wait that long when I see it's processed through. If it does take a little longer than usual, I will send out my Patreon packages sooner. Just so you are aware of that okay but we are good there now so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to open up uh, Ethan's package I got in the mail yesterday from him nothing else new has come in recently so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut open this package from Ethan I know he had sent this off to me before he had left on vacation. I think he's on vacation this week. So I think if you do see new content go up on his uh, channel and such, um, I believe it is stuff that he's pre-recorded and as, is just loading up, okay? So um, just in case you're wondering what Ethan's done on his channel, I know he's on vacation and probably not creating any new videos for, for the time being. But I will set this aside and we'll go through these two team bags. It looks like I've got her. And we will see what takes place here. I do have an idea of what one card is in this package for sure. Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta get used to my new my new camera setup also. So in case I'm looking bewildered and uh mixed up a little bit I'm just getting used to uh, the new process here I was gonna save that but that one kind of this one probably I can save that one kind of got tore up but um, let me see what Ethan and, and it, I did oops what do we got here There we go. <laughs> I can save some of that tape and reuse it. All right. I had your Patreon, $50. Okay, nothing new in the chat right now. Let me, uh, in case uh, some people start chatting and stuff, let's um, go ahead and get into these two here real quick. Um, I don't know which one's which for sure, but we'll just go ahead and open up one of these and see what we've got in here. I can see right on top there is a Jared Kelnick. I see a Jared Kelnick here, which is kind of cool. It's one of the new uh, top prospects for uh, the Seattle Mariners coming up. Jared Kelnick. All right. And that is the uh, Bowman's Scouts Top 100. Jared Kelnick for the Seattle Mariners. I think these might be mostly all Seattle Mariner cards in here. For the most part. I know there is something else in here. There's uh, Julio Rodriguez with the Seattle Mariners. And this is... Uh, I think this is a 2019 Julio Rodriguez. Then, of course, we've got, it looks like, a Yusei Kikuchi here. But there's a couple cards in here. So we got a Yusei Kikuchi rookie card for a uh, Topps Chrome from last year. And Alex Rodriguez, there we go. Ken Griffey Jr.'s Hot List. That's an Alex Rodriguez card there. Awesome. Justice Sheffield rookie card. Add that to my Justice Sheffield rookie card line. 
All right, Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr. with the Don Russ 2020. Another Cal Ripken Jr. 2020. Okay. But pretty cool cards there. I like the rookie cards. I'm collecting Justice Sheffield rookie cards. Yusei Kikuchi rookie cards. Jared Kelnick is an up and coming prospect there. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, that's a super size. I call it I call it a super size. It's the bigger uh penny sleeves. I always thought there was one size, but I guess there's a bigger penny sleeve size and a smaller one. There we go. A Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. This is 2020, I believe. Yeah, 2020. Uh Bowman for Julio Rodriguez. Oh, there we go. I like that one there. I don't I don't think I have this one yet. And that's a Ken Griffey Jr. Seattle Mariners outfielder. Tops. Number 82. That'll go into my Ken Griffey Jr. collection for sure. Ken Griffey Jr. collection for sure. And there we go. There we go. I knew it would be hiding in there. Oh, there we go. There's a Jared Kelnick Bowman. This one is the green, 27 out of 99. I'll get into the Cal Ripken Jr. in just a second here. Where'd that other... Let's see. Da, da, da. I think I got that. Where'd that other one go that eat? Oh, that was... Oh, the same Bowman product. I see what it is. The Julio Rodriguez... And the Jared Kelnick. The Jared Kelnick. Twenty twenty Bowman. Short print. Twenty seven out of ninety nine. Cool card there. But this one, Cal Ripken Jr. Cal Ripken Jr. Two thousand one hundred and thirty one consecutive games played. September sixth, nineteen ninety five. Congratulations, you have received a Memorable Moments card. Relic card from 2017 Topps Baseball Series 2. Cal Ripken Jr. Boom! I'm going to put that right in front of the 2020 uh, Don Russ. Cal Ripken Jr. is there. Awesome, awesome card there. That was one that I could not resist getting from him, that's for sure. Right. Uh, th 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 last night, Papa J's cards live stream. I put Jason Dominguez card. Jason Dominguez card. Sometimes you wonder when somebody puts in it, what are they talking about? <laughs> All right. So let's see here. What do we got here? We got a few cards in here. Some Gypsy Queen 2020s. I'm pretty sure these are 2020s, right? Ooh, I like that one there. Yep, 2020 use 2020 Yusei Kikuchi. And then a feel uh Don Russ 2019, Felix Hernandez. Feel oh there we go. 1919 Diamond King. Look at that. Nope, Jake Daubart. First baseman for the Cincinnati. And there we go. This is a uh, 2019 Diamond King Street 1919 Diamond King Series 15 subjects. So I guess they made 15 of these these type here. Am I, am I bouncing the, the table? <laughs> but do you like those? And then, oh, there we go. Oh, that's another. Let me get one of these. All right, now I got two of those. From Ethan. He sent me three 2020 Cal Ripken Juniors. And then, boom, there we go. Oh, I like the, that design on that card there for sure. Skyline Skybox, Alex Rodriguez. It's probably the 90s, I believe. Let me double check on the back here. Oh, 2000. I was pretty close. 2000. This is number 3 of 10 
SL. Got to get used to with my new camera setup here where to set the cards. That is a nice A rod card there, that's for sure. Let me just set this over here with some of the mixers here. All right. Um, dun, dun, dun. Put that penny sleeve over there. I'll get these all sleeved up when we're done here. The ones that aren't sleeved. Um, there we go. Justin Dunn, rookie card. Uh, Austin Nola, rookie card. Um, Evan White with the Seattle Mariners. These are all 2020 Bowmans. Um, Jared Kelnick. All right. Another Jared K Kelnick. This one's uh, the Bowman Chrome. Julio Rodriguez in a Bowman Chrome. Justin Dunn. There we go. Now I got the Jared Kelnick. And the Justin Dunn there, and that from the Bowman series there. I haven't seen it much of the, the Bowman here. The Diamond Kings, Tyler O'Neill with the Seattle Murders. Awesome. I'm getting some cards that I know I don't have in my collection, that's for sure. That's why I did kind of go this route. Getting some of these cards from Ethan. And then, of course, we've got a uh, Rookie of the Year favorite, Kyle Lewis. A variation card there. Rookie card for Kyle Lewis. Oh, my word. I got three different variations there. I like when you get those, right? Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis, rookie card. Kyle Lewis, rookie card. This one is 60 out of 99. 60 out of 99. So cool, cool cards from Ethan, that's for sure. So put these guys right here, along with that Kyle Lewis. So I did get the Tyler O'Neill relic card, too. The blue, the dark blue jer jersey and the aqua marine jersey colors there. The Ken Griffey Jr. This is tribute, I think, isn't it? Is this tribute tops tribute i believe those are some of the higher end products i don't buy most some of those generally but i do like the style of the cards that's why i would probably just get the cards that i would want in my collection on that one so, sorry i had to clear an alert on my phone i couldn't see things there for a second Toss that one away. Keep that team bag and probably reuse it for packaging products. The rainbow. Is that what this one is? The rainbow? Let's have the nice, the nice shiny, this nice shiny look. That's what I do like about it. The nice shiny look. Anytime there's a shiny card, they're nice. <laughs> Shiny cards, shiny cards. The Kyle Lewis Rainbow. All right. So other than that, I can't think of anything else really to talk about today. We're almost at the hour mark. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We got six people watching, 11 thumbs up. Appreciate that for sure. Um, we can stick around and uh, and chat. So there's no problem there. Okay. So other than that, let me see what else we got going on here. Oh, thank you. Uh, Hopefully you guys are having a good day, a good start of your week, Tuesdays. Um, last call, anybody interested in possibly purchasing one of the mystery bags? If not, I'm, I'm not trying to push any products on you. 
It's just, I'm kind of aching to open up some more of those mystery bags. <laughs> but that is fine. Um, so other than that, uh, just give you a real quick highlight as far as the far as the six cards that are available for my June giveaway. So my June giveaway, we've got the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Home Run Derby Rookie Card. We've got the Vladimir Guerrero Rookie, rookie Card for my giveaway this month. We've got the Keston Hira Rookie Card from Topps Gallery. We've got the Shoei Otani uh, Rookie Card for Topps Gallery. Okay, and then we've got the uh, Gliber Torres rookie card for Topps Gallery. And then we've got the uh, Jackson Stevens with the Cincinnati Reds rookie card for Topps Gallery. So these are the six cards that are up for uh, my June giveaway, in case you guys are one guys or gals are wondering. Okay. So those are my six cards that are up for my giveaway for the month of June. Okay, let's see. Scoot that back a little bit. Get those up more center in the screen here. All right, so these are my six giveaways for the month of June that will be sent out, and the drawing will be on the 4th of July uh, sale. And again, that 4th of July sale on that day will be starting most likely between 8 and 9 a.m. on the Pacific Coast, which means it'll be 11 to 12 noon on the East Coast. So, but these are the six cards that are in my giveaway for the month of June. Again, no purchase necessary. Well, you can get bonus entries, kind of like a raffle. If you do different things, look in my community tab and it'll mention uh, different ways you can get entries into um, into my uh, my monthly drawings. Okay. Um, so other than that, I can't think of anything else. Let's see. I think you've got one, two, three... Yeah, you do have three entries there, Cardinals fan, in case you're wondering, because um, until your payment process is through the first time, that is when uh, you'll be eligible for. So you'll, elgi you'll be eligible for your free entries into um, the monthly giveaways starting the month of July. For uh, all my Patreons uh, members, get an initial entry into um, the monthly drawings. And then along with different things that take place throughout the streams throughout the month. So that is pretty much how things work there. So let's see. We still have four people in here. The numbers are starting to go in, going down because my content is done. So I'm going to put these uh, back up on display here. So in case anybody else asks down the road. I can tell you uh, what route we are going. Of course, each of these cards are, I think most of them are all 2000. Let's see, 2018, 18, 18, 19, 19, and 19. So three, uh, the, the top three here are 2019. Yeah, so these three are 2018 rookie cards. These three are two are 2019 rookie cards. These are 2018 rookie cards. So these six rookie cards are my giveaway for the month of June. And just so you do know most likely my July giveaway will be in conjunction and in cahoots <laughs> with my uh, theme for the the mystery mystery baseball packs okay 
I'll just give you that hint for my July drawing. And again, we do have 18 days prior to the release of the 2020 Red, White, and Blue Mystery Pack Series 1 Summer Edition. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera around so I can say my goodbye in the channels. I don't know for sure how this is going to work because I got to get used to the readjustment of the camera here. But let me uh, turn the camera around. Oh, there we go. That's not too bad. So this is Donald Pomba, Hall of Fame veteran sports cards and collectibles. Having been live to you from Arlington, Washington with my red, white, and blue ball cap on. I'm going to be wearing the, this ball cap every day until our release of our 2020 uh Red, White, and Blue Series 1 Summer Edition Mystery Packs. Okay? Leading up to that series. So, and then of course, but in usual fashion, I'll, I can adjust this and put this back, I'm pretty sure. Uh, da, 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 is my, my Edgar, Randy, Ichiro, and Ken uh, t-shirt. Because I do wear different t-shirts for different streams throughout the week so without further ado I'm going to uh, get ready to uh, go through everything that takes place what did I just say <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and get ready to sign off you guys been uh, great here today where is Jay 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 <laughs> all right where is jay it's my party and i'll cry if i want to <laughs> oh trent 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 all right so you guys this has been donald bomb doll hall of fame uh, jay buner oh jay buner uh, uh, jay bone jay bone jay buner jay buner used to play for the mariners all right <laughs> So you guys, you guys take care. We will see you guys tomorrow morning, continuing into our series. And tomorrow will be the 1993 Topps Baseball Card Set for our Topps Baseball Card Set video series. Okay, so you guys take care. Let me uh, pop this around real quick. Stop the camera from bouncing get this adjusted a little bit here and we'll leave you on this party note for today so this has been donald blonda hall of fame veteran sports cards and collectibles having been live to you from arlington washington you guys have a great and wonderful day and we will see you guys around the channels okay bye now take care and lord bless you